through them. The outpost on Mars, what, do, what purpose do you think that'll serve humanity? In the short term, nothing. <laughs> it's a waste of time and money to go to Mars in the short term. But in the long term, we need an insurance policy because I think we should become a two-planet species. Why? Because you see, the dinosaurs did not have a space program. <laughs> and that's why they're not here today. <laughs> we are here today, we mammals are here today, precisely because the dinosaurs did not have a space program. It's a cosmic shooting gallery out there, meteors, comets, asteroids and stuff. They could hit the Earth and wipe out all life. So we need an insurance policy. It doesn't have to be immediate. We don't have to have a crash program. But I think we, do sh we should be a two-planet species, at least, in order to make sure that humanity can survive the death of the Earth. Now, it's a law of physics that the Earth will die. Poets ask the question, will the Earth die in fire or ice? I know the answer, fire. Five billion years from now, the sun will expand and we will have the last nice day. <laughs> the oceans will boil, the mountains will melt, the sky will be on fire, and we will go back into the sun. The Bible says from dust to dust, ashes to ashes, physicists say from stardust we came and stardust we will return. We are made of stardust. Every atom in this room came from the heat of a star. We will go back into the sun in five billion years. That's why I say, yeah, let's go to Mars. The right. space elevator. Now, this is a really cracking idea. And uh, when we think about it down here at sea level, we think about the